Hello, holy moly people and YouTube viewers. Uh, don't forget to subscribe up there. Look who it is. Kickstarting 2012 The Apprentice. Mm. It's Billy Arnie. Is that right? I pronounced that right, haven't I? Oh, it's been entertaining hearing all the variations. It's Biliana Apostolova. Biliana <laughs> apostrophe over what? Sadly, no one likes to be the first to be booted out, but that mm. was that was you. We saw that all last night. Yeah, absolutely. Explain definitely. to them explain to them what happened. Oh, it's been absolutely painful to watch. I had about 30 people in my living room, all my best friends, uh, feeding them popcorn and uh, they all choked when I got fired. Just, just a reminder, so The Apprentice, it's like filmed quite a, a long time ago. So when did you actually get fired? How long ago was that? A good five months. Five months ago. So you've had five months to prepare yourself, but it's not humiliation as such, is yeah. it? It's not, it's a little bit. <laughs> I, I try to think of myself as the final 16 rather than the first one out. And yeah, you, you, you weren't the first one out, you were the last one in. Um, now, your task or the girls' task, were you Sterling or Phoenix? You were, you were Sterling, right? Yeah, Sterling. Good name. What was the, sorry, what was the accent? Was that, uh, was trying, that? trying to sound like Jenna. Jenna. You see, it's the first week, I haven't got a clue who anybody oh, right. is. So, oh, you should catch up. Well, why don't we catch characters. up? We've only had one episode. It's, it's oh, very come difficult. on, there's the audition videos. Um, yeah, everything. Oh. How on earth did they beat you with their awful, awful printing? Um, to me, uh, well, they got the pricing strategy right, and I think they, they had the right target group, tourists. Right. You know, uh, with that type of product, you need someone that has some spare cash in, in their pockets, and they chose these locations. Um, and you chose so you chose London Zoo, one of the most expensive places on earth. Oh, tell me about it. So I getting people on the way out of London Zoo, they've been f they've been rinsed. A lot of them didn't have cash on them. No, they've been and rinsed. Yeah, I mean, seven I, quid for a hot dog. I didn't want to be that person who um, comes across in the show as I told you so, I told you so, but I really did tell them so in the show. But strategy. she's really doing it now. Yeah. Um, you were accused by your fellow teammates of steamrollering their sales pitches. Mm. Was, um, that, was that part of your game plan? Well, you, you saw that uh, in the film. Don't blame the editing. No, um, Don't blame the editing. I'm, I'm afraid it's the I worst, don't know how worst thing a reality television contestant can do is blame the editing. Uh, well, I don't know what else to say in my defence, to be honest, because we went to the zoo because um, How about Jane you? really... Actually, these are the moments when I'm trying to break out and steal a couple of sales for myself. And a couple? Yeah. Every scene? Well, four sales. Okay, four sales. Is that how many you sold? Four? No, no, no. How many did you sell? Um, you shook a lot more hands. Is that is, yeah, that, is that business speak? Is it? Well, well we, we, sh we shook hands only with the people we sold to. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you shook a lot of hands that day. Hands. She shook a lot of hands. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the drawings, though? I thought they were interesting. Um, well, Jade, I, I thought Jade did tremendously well because after we came up with the concept and realized the design is not actually help us and none of the ready available images are going to do um, the purpose. You okay. used the one that was yeah. scribbled on the back of a beer mat. <laughs> Whereas the boys, Union yeah, Jack, boys, Union, Union Jack, Jack on a teddy, <clears throat> this is a bus. This is a bus. I bet, I bet you know what a bus is now, don't you? No, oh God, tell me. You will never, no, you'll never anybody. forget what no. a bus is now. The reasons he gave was because at the beginning of the episode that we saw, he said he didn't want people that weren't going to stand up and be counted and make some noise, right? It was, mm. it was, and that's kind of what you did right at the end, isn't it? Yeah, I was surprised. Um, I've watched a lot of previous episodes and I've seen him over and over again favouring people who speak up for themselves and who show that they really want it, especially if they say, please give me an opportunity to be a project yeah. manager. So you thought the best tactic <coughs> therefore would be not say a word and show him that you didn't really want it? <laughs> Oh God, no! In hindsight, I should have just got controlled my nerves a bit better and read the situation. Was it a nervous right at the end? Was it a nervous situation? Yeah, especially after Gabrielle's outburst. After that, especially, I just completely couldn't even hear Your what we were saying. Mm. Oh dear. Uh, so in those five, in that five-month gap, what have you been doing? Because you had to go to Lord Sugar with a business plan. Yes, 
Um, well, I had a full time job. I'm, I'm still, um, I'm still. They had you back. Time employment. They had me back. Oh, was a bit. Well, let's bit see. Old, let's awkward. see after the episode is, is out now. They didn't know clearly, so everyone found you out. You didn't tell them you were in the. You didn't tell them. Well, you were... I told. No, I told the people who have to know, but all the people around me didn't know. Wow. So it was. Uh, it was a lot of fun when it came out. Somebody bought a paper mask of uh, a lot of sugar and stuck it on the wall next to me. That that got a few laughs oh. in the office. And, bit, uh, of ban yeah, bit of office banter. Oh, the oh. office banter is going strong. I'm going oh. back tomorrow. You ledge. Uh, your opening statement was that you'd come from a tower block mm. to the top of a tower block. <laughs> well, from was the sixth just, floor to the twenty seventh floor. Was that was that just another house move or? <laughs> I know, I'm a very visual person, and what I was trying to do is paint a picture in people's uh, minds. I think, yeah, you did that. Yeah, yeah, it's coming you, up you, to... You, you painted a picture of you having to drag a sofa up 21 <laughs> floors. <laughs> and uh, row myself uh, through Bulgaria to England. I what? think that's what... <laughs> no, that was another joke, you know. I flew over, it was my first time on the plane, actually. Oh, was it? Was it yeah, exciting? it was very exciting. Did I didn't really know where I was going, and... And, um, what did you have to eat? And carving <laughs> And and that's why I. No, seriously, I mean, what did you have to eat on the plane? On the plane. Yeah. On your first plane. I flew with Bulgaria, so some Bulgarian cheese probably. Bulgarian cheese. Mm. Wow, that must have been riveting Yummy. for you. Did it come with a bit of bread or a cracker or? And a, and, and a slice of tomato. We do have the best tomatoes. Very very sweet and juicy because of the. Country. Was it Bulgaria that, uh, <coughs> that the children in Chichi Ch Ch Bang Bang would take? No, to? they were from Romania. What does your fired mean in Bulgarian? Tisiovonen. Tisiovonen. Yeah, but that would be for a man, so now I'm firing you. Tisiovonen. What what's the difference between firing a man and a woman apart so from employment laws? You'll add an A, so uh, it will be Tisiovonena. So, for example, if your surname was my surname, you would be Apostolov, and I'm Apostolova. For a female, you add an A at the end. You have feminine and masculine. Well, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> what happens if you're transgender? You know what really uh, irritates me as a, as a product recently? Please tell me. I was uh, excited to say I love baking. I was buying some new appliances and I saw that someone came, came up with a bowl scraper, you know, a little block of plastic that you scrape the bowl after you've baked. To me, which just... Like a bendy spatula? Yes. So What's wrong with that? It solves a problem. Well, you can it, never get the cake mix out of out of the bottom of the bowl. No, you and just take it out with a bit more, uh, with a, a couple of movements. Well, if you've got a small it. child, you just hand them the bowl and then they just lick exercise, it clean. So it's, exercise is good, isn't it? Just do it twice rather than use, then do it with one movement. Bada Bing, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. It was really Thank you. And to. just tell people on YouTube to subscribe to this channel because it's brilliant. Go. That seemed like a lot of fun, guys, so hopefully you'll tune in more often. Bye.